Stop Press, Stop Press. Uh, genial John Ferguson is having a night off tonight. At Nostalgia Unlimited is hosted tonight by outstanding Alex Hare and a lamb at Les Egan. Good evening, people, and uh, welcome to Nostalgia Unlimited. That's coming up in a few seconds' time. You're in tune with 3CR Community Radio. The time is almost half past seven. And the time is now 7.30. You're on Community Radio 3CR. Seven thirty Sunday night means nostalgia unlimited. Up, she said, you're grand. So I replied in words low down. Now this is how the music goes round. I go through here. The music goes round and around. Oh, and it comes up here. Good evening, everyone. This is Alex Hare and... This is Les Egan. Welcoming you to the wonderful 7.30 Sunday night program, Collectors... Nostalgia. Nostalgia Unlimited. Unlimited with Collector's Corner oh, at 9 right. o'clock. And what have we done with John Ferguson? Well, John's having a night off. It's about time. How yes. are you, John? He's well, but he's having a night off and he's sitting home with Roma yep. and going to enjoy tonight's program, which uh, I'm sure everyone else will too. They always do, Alex. And it's nice to be working with you too, Well, Alex. thank you very much. It's lovely to be here. And... Uh, driving the bus uh, solo tonight, which is uh, an interesting experience, but mm. I'm sure we'll, uh, you're very, we'll get there. You're very capable, I'm sure. We've got a very good program lined up, a lot of requests to play for our people out there, yes. and we're going to start off with a couple of tracks just to set the mood, get the nostalgia blood flowing, and uh, the first thing we're going to have is uh, this popular old favourite. <laughs> I'm 
I could just hear um, Happy Hammond snapping his fingers to that, you know. Couldn't Alex? you just? The Furco String Band. From Philadelphia. Yeah, they're me. all the way from Philadelphia, and uh, they you appear in the Mummers Day parades there. They're, uh, it's sort of like a lodge type thing, the Furco String Band. And uh, I'm, I'm looking over. A full leaf clover. I've, I've not heard of them, but gee, they're bright and breezy. Very bright, and I thought that'd be a great one to kick the show off well, tonight. It certainly was. 25 minutes to 8 o'clock on Nostalgia Unlimited. And what have we got? Well, we've got, uh, I've got a lovely bunch of coconuts sung by Tessie O'Shea. She was a big lady, wasn't she? She was a big lady, yes. She was one of London's great entertainers. Yes, yeah, she billed uh, herself as London's great entertainer. She weighed about, what, half a ton or something like that, did she? Or quite two, two ton Tessie, quite was she? Yes, yeah, she, well, actually, she had a song, which was uh, the song that she uh, introduced herself with. Her theme was... Two Ton Tessie, and that was the song that she uh, she made very popular and famous. Yes, she's not still with us, I don't think. Is she she is actually. Is she? yeah, she's living in America is at she? this stage. Uh, I'm not uh, quite sure of her status. I think she's in Florida. Right, and what's after Tessie? And then we're going to have What a Perfect Combination, played by Henry Hall and the BBC Dance Orchestra, and the vocal on this is by Les Allen. This is, comes from a London session in February of 1933. Well, I hope, I hope that title works out to be our combination tonight, Alex. I hope it does. And then Seamus O'Brien. Oh, oh, to be sure. Oh, this sounds more, more like it for me. This is uh, sung by the Irish tenor Leo McCaffrey. And accompanied by the pride of Erin... Cayley. Cayley Band. Cayley Band. C-E-I-L-I. That's yes. it, Cayley. Yes, I know that. But first of all, Tessie O'Shea. <laughs> Evening I was there, but when I heard the showman shouting underneath the flare, boy, I've got a lovely bunch of coconuts, and there they are standing in a row. Big ones, small ones, some as big as your head. Give them a twist, a flick of the wrist, that's what the showman said. I've got a lovely bunch of coconuts, and every ball you throw will make me rich. A pinch. Sing it round the ball, a ball, a penny, a pinch. Sing it round the bowl, a ball, a penny, a pinch. A roll, a bowl, a ball, a roll, a bowl, a ball, a sing it round a bowl, a ball, a penny, a pinch. La, la, la. supposed to be doing what you're doing. <laughs> oh, Liz, he'll never be able to throw him in a position like that. Look at him. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
tastes like wine. I like hers and she likes mine. What a perfect combination. No wonder we're in love. She has charms and perfect taste. I have arms that fit her waist. What a perfect combination. No wonder we're in love. She taught me one thing. Love is only what you make it. And I know one thing. She can dish it out and I can take it. We both want a family. I want twins and so does she. What a perfect combination. No wonder we're in love. You're listening to Alex Hare's Nostalgia Unlimited. Oh, sweet is the smile of the beautiful morn As it peeps through the curtains of night as the voice of the nightingale singing its tune While the stars seem to smile with delight All nature now lingers in silent repose As the sweet breath of summer hath come While I sit and I wonder if she ever knows How sad and unhappy I am Oh, Shames O'Brien, why don't you come home? And you don't know how happy I'll be. I've but one darling wish, and that is that you'll come and forever be happy with me. I'll smile when you smile, and I'll weep when you weep, and I'll give you a kiss for a kiss. And for all the fond vows that I make you, I'll keep, what more can I promise than this? Has the sea got such joy and such beautiful charms that your heart will not leave it for me? Oh, why did I let you get out of my arms A bird that is caged and is free Oh, shame, so Brian, why don't you come home And you don't know how happy I'll be I've but one darling wish And that is that you'll come And forever be happy with me Gee, it's not even St. Patrick's Day. That was very, very pleasant. Seamus O'Brien. Leo and, McCaffrey, uh, that yeah. was. And guess who's enjoying our show so early in the night? Three guesses. Gladys and Harold. Ah, oh, wonderful. They're out there listening. They never let us down. Never at 17 minutes to 8 on... Actually, John Ferguson's Nostalgia Unlimited, but Les Egan and Alex Hare are presenting it tonight. Please be kind. Please be kind, Alex. All right, I will, I will. This is going to be played for Vern Hoare of Burnley, and of course it's Joe Loss and Chick Henson, and it was, re it was recorded in London on June the 8th, 1938. And then we've got for Fred and Dulcie Morecambe. We like to play their nice waltz early, and it's a waltz medley featuring When You and I Were Seventeen and Lovely Lady. And tonight it's played by Jack Papworth and his old-time dance orchestra, a Sydney uh, orchestra, and a vocal there by Bill Westwater, and it's a lovely waltz medley, this one. Good. 
but first of all... And uh, we're going to have three? Or we're going to have three, sorry. Might as well. Yeah, well, back to, uh, back to the Irish in your green hat. Sung by Art Gillam with Lou Pollock at the piano, and this was recorded in New York on March the 16th, 1926, and we're playing this for Francis of Ferntree Gully. But right now, here comes Joe Loss with the great Chick Henderson. <laughs> And we were seven 
ti pretty maid. My, but isn't it becoming? And such a lovely shade. I've got to tell you that you're a pip in green. And if I'm not too familiar, by that I simply mean in your green hat, you're beautiful. The best, best gal in town. In your green hat, you're wonderful. From your shingle top all the way down You're like a fashion show From head to toe And what a figure, what a face, and what a chapeau Which all means that You're simply marvelous in your green hat Now play a pretty finger Papa's bought you a lot of hot clothes here recently. Got you that beautiful blue dress. Those passionate red shoes. And those loud pink socks. And a lot of other things I don't like to print, you know. But above everything else that you've got, you look the best in your green hat. Why, in that hat, you're beautiful. Honey, you're the best-dressed gal in this town. In your green hat, you're wonderful. From your shingle top all the way down. You're like a fashion show from head to toe. What a figure, what a face. Mammy, mammy, what a chapeau. Which all means that you're simply marvelous in your hat. Now play them fingers while Papa dance. Killam it was in your green hat. Six minutes to eight now. You're with the 3CR. And the program, of course, is Nostalgia Unlimited. <laughs> 3CR Same Time Share provides current news, reviews and interviews. And the news behind the news and current affairs may be heard on 3CR every Tuesday afternoon with Jen Bartlett. Can you afford to miss this program? Be aware of the news behind the news by tuning into 3CR between 4pm and 5.30pm every Tuesday afternoon for the Home Time Show presented by Jen Bartlett. <laughs> 
Who, who was that chap there? Uh, well, I think... Uh, announcing something about... The uh, voice is very familiar. I've, I've heard that voice before. So have I. I I've think it was it. our mentor, wasn't it? I think it, it was, was Mr. Mr. Ferguson. I think it was Mr. Ferguson. Good cheerio to John, too. Be listening yes, out there. John. You know, I visited John last uh, Wednesday, Alex. And you did? Yep, and every day after that I didn't feel well. What do you think of that? Hmm... And, uh, <laughs> something to be said there. Something to be said but there. But I'm not going to say it at no. five and a half to eight. Only joking, John. I'll try and limit it. What have we got on Collector's Corner, by the way? Collector's Corner. I'm presenting that myself tonight, and it is called Rogers and Hammerstein, A Celebration. And we're looking at the 50th year of their association with the musical theatre, not only in Broadway, but in, in fact, entirely all over the world, because uh, their first show, which was Oklahoma, opened on Broadway in 1943 and it's been 50 years. Mm, they wrote some wonderful music over the years. Well we're they? looking at their life and their times and their words and music in this program that I've uh, produced and it'll run over two weeks and we'll play part two of it in John's next program. But, yeah, uh, time. That's right but part one's tonight at nine o'clock not to be missed. Well I'll be looking forward to that. That should be good. And what's next on the list? What's next? It's got to be love. And here's a song from Mary Lee, is the vocalist with Roy Fox. We're playing this one for Masculine Merv of McLeod. And huh? this, this was recorded in December 1936. And then we go along the Santa Fe Trail with Dick Todd. And this is for Jim and Betty Page of East Bentley and all of the Dick Todd fans. We have hundreds of Dick Todd fans out there. Yes, it's a great, he's a great singer. He's a great singer. But first I think we'll hear from Roy Fox with Mary Lee. <laughs> colored canyon and the azure sky are beautiful to see till you come passing by and then they all fade away you are the picture and they only form the frame for since you came the desert doesn't seem the same and at the end of each day Angels come to paint the desert nightly When the moon is beaming brightly Along the Santa Fe Trail Stardust scattered all along the highway On a rainbow-colored skyway Along the Santa Fe Trail Beside you I'm riding every hill and dale While shadows hide you Just like a pretty purple veil Thereby hangs a tale I found you And the mountains that surround you are the walls I built around you Along the Santa Fe Trail surround you are the walls I built around you along the Santa Fe Trail. Very, very 
pleasant. Dick Todd, always pleasant. Nice one. And uh, Francis of Ferntree Gully. Aha! Uh -huh. Francis rang to say, thanks for your green hat. So that's well, right. Francis, I'm glad you enjoyed that. We had the devil's own job finding that one. That's a rare one. It goes back to 1926, that so one. It's an old one. Old Columbia. And Francis also sends best wishes to John and Roma and Les and Alex. So that's nice, Francis. Thank you, Francis. Lovely to hear from you. And uh, I just wanted to tell the people that we've got a couple of new little segments in the program tonight, and I'm sure they're going to enjoy them. Mm -hmm. At half past eight, which is in about 26 minutes' time, we've got themes we remember, and we'll be playing a couple of themes that everyone will know, and will no doubt uh, associate and bring back some very happy memories. Good. And uh, then we'll have a competition at about 20 minutes to 10, and Paul Edwards in the show... Paul Edward at 10 o'clock. What's Paul doing tonight, he's, by the way? He's, his subject tonight is phantom broadcasts. Now, we always associate phantom broadcasts as, um, you know, uh, races and things like that. But pa right. uh, Paul's got a very interesting program on phantom broadcasts in at radio. 10 o'clock. Yeah, yes. and then we'll be looking at the Hall of Fame at around about 10.20. So we've got a good lineup. It's a good lineup. Be a great show, I think. And if you're enjoying the show, why not ring? Maureen's out there and there are a couple of free lines and she'd only be too pleased to speak to you. 419-8377 and Maureen would love to sign you up as a listener sponsor too, by That's the way. That's right, yes. The, uh, the rates are $35, $20 and $7 and the uh, $35 and $20 rates include the Cram Guide, but all three rates include the concessions on goods and services. Discounts on record shops, Marvelous. cinemas. Anything, you you name it, you can virtually get a you, discount. You recoup your money in no time. No time flat. So, so it's worth Ring while. us, we can send out an application form to you in the mail and you'll have it tomorrow. And Maureen would love to talk to you. She certainly would. Well now, it's four minutes past eight on Nostalgia Unlimited and we're up to a request for Gladys and Harold. And for Gladys and Harold, we have the Penthouse Serenade, sung by Bob Hope and Shirley Ross, who recorded this in Los Angeles on the 16th of June, 1939. And then we're going to play the Pink Lady Waltz, the Ivan Carroll composition. And tonight it's played by Barnabas von Gexie, and Ron Warren will enjoy that, I'm sure. But firstly, here we go with Penthouse Serenade. <laughs> Just picture a penthouse way up in the sky With hinges on chimneys for stars to go by A sweet slice of heaven for just you and I When we're all alone From all of society we'll stay aloof And live in propriety there on the roof Two heavenly hermits we will be in truth when we're all alone. We'll use life's mad pattern as we view old Manhattan. Then we can thank our lucky star that we're living as we are. In our little penthouse, we'll always contrive to keep love and romance forever alive in view of the hudson just over the drive when we're alone <laughs> Picture a pet house way up in the sky. Honey, I can't see it. With hinges on chimneys for stars to go by. That's on a bun. A sweet slice of heaven for just you and I. You mean you and me? Oh, well, anyway, we'll be alone. Okay. From all of society, we'll stay aloof. And live in propriety there on the roof. Two heavenly hermits, we will be in truth. When we're alone, we'll use life's mad pattern as we view old Manhattan. Then we can thank our lucky star that we're living as we are. In our little penthouse, we'll be quite a pair. 
just billing and cooing so high in the air. And darling, for free we can see the world's fair. When we're, when we're all alone. Dancing beautifully there, Alex. Yes, I was wondering who was leading. You were pretty good. You yeah, were, thank but, you. But Maureen was, uh, she's pretty light on her feet. Yeah, well, that was the uh, wonderful Pink Lady Waltz there. And it's now 11 and a half minutes past eight on the Stelger Unlimited from 3CR Community Radio. And Jim and Betty Page have rung in saying thanks, Alex and Les, for the Dick Todd recording. And best wishes to uh, us both and John and Roma. Well, I'm sure that uh, they will uh, take those on board. Thank you, Jim and Betty, for ringing and uh, saying how much you're enjoying the show. Yeah, Jim and Betty, they're good uh, listener sponsors and they always, in, always listen to the show. Yes, ring in and uh, make a request. We're happy to play it. We sure will. You were there. That's coming up in a moment. Uh, before we do, at 12 minutes past 8, we're going to uh, play this, and then we'll be right back. Everything is lovely, lovely, everywhere, everywhere. Morning, noon, and night becomes a girl. Oh, oh, mucking about the garden, dear old Uncle Joe. Sing right tomatoes, apples and plums, watching his onion grow. For those people who enjoy mucking about the garden, or those who take it more seriously, 3CR Gardening Show at 7.30 to 9am every Sunday is a must. We've got Alan Gilbert and his knowledgeable guest, Ian Nichols, to answer your queries. Your rhubarb looks very backward. Yes, I'm just going to bend it forward. So if you have any problems in the garden, call that talkback number and the team will be only too pleased to answer your problems. 
I say, uh, this is a very small melon. Put that grape down. Remember, mm. 3CR Gardening Show, 7.30 to 9am every Sunday. Don't miss it. It's a good show. It is a good show. A I, gardening uh, show? I've yes, I listen to it sometimes, mm. yeah. It's very good. Well, now, you were there. You know the old uh, Noel Coward song? Beautiful song, this. We've got this on an acetate recording, which was uh, recorded in New York in 1936 by Ray Bowley. By Ray? Ray, Ray Noble and Al Bowley. That's the one? That's the one, and we're playing this. I should put my teeth back in. <laughs> <laughs> yes. We're in the glass of water at the moment. Yeah, and we're playing this especially for John Walton and, of course, all the other Al Bowley fans. And then Joyce Caldwell rang in last program and uh, asked me to play a song which uh, she used to sing back many, many years ago, and it came from the era of the First World War. I don't have that one, Joyce, but I've selected a, a song from that era, uh, sung tonight by Buddy Clark. It's the Ivan Novello song, Keep the Home Fires Burning, and I'm sure you'll enjoy oh, that Joyce, just as much. Joyce will love this one. Yeah, it's a great one. But first, here's Ray Noble with Al Bowley, and you were there. <laughs> country found them ready at the stirring call for men. Let no tears add to their hardship as the soldiers pass along. And although your heart is breaking, make it sing this cheery song. He the home fires burning while your hearts are yearning though the lads are far away they dream of home there's a silver lining through the dark cloud shining Turn the dark cloud inside out Till the boys come home Keep the home fires burning while your hearts are yearning though the lands are far away they dream of home there's a silver lining through the dark cloud shining Turn the dark clouds inside out Till the boys come home Well, there we are. That was a nice rendition of that. Uh, I've not heard that one before, Alex. Buddy Clark with the Hammond organ there, mm. and keep those home fires burning. We don't know who was playing the Hammond organ. We do don't, we? actually. It doesn't credit that on the disc. But that happened quite often. Wouldn't have been Ethel Smith, I don't think. 
Well, maybe. We don't never know. know. It was an American, American, American recording. Yep. So uh, she might have been uh, on the organ there. 19 minutes past eight on uh, John Ferguson's Nostalgia Unlimited. This is Alex Hare. And Les Egan. And John's having a night off. He is. And I dare say he's listening and enjoying the program. I'm sure he is, and he might enjoy this. This is a phantom broadcast. <laughs> phantom broadcasts in one form or another are the subject of our next Paul Edwards spot on Nostalgia Unlimited, Sunday night at 10 o'clock. I'll be looking forward to that. Mm, you had me scared there for a moment. Yes, it's a spooky one, wasn't mm. it? Uh, anyway, Paul Edward coming up at 10 o'clock tonight, but at 9 o'clock, of course, we have... Collector's Corner. Collector's Corner. Presented by Alex. That's right. Um, Jeff Lasbury was going to ring in and tell me what he's presenting in Bill's show next week. So yeah. he may well do that and Maureen will take the message if he does so. Uh, but anyway, whatever it was, I heard the last program they did, which was the Laquina Cuban mm, Poison. That did you hear too. that? Another mm. Latin American yes. item. It was quite enjoyable, I thought. Good one. Yes. And of course at 8.30 we have a little segment here, Themes to Remember. Yes. We? But before then, we have time for two more requests. Yes, we have time for two more. Well, what about a saunter medley uh, from uh, Harry Davidson? Perhaps we could saunter down to the corner. Also. Yeah, we could. Love sends a little gift of roses ah, and yes. uh, the sunshine of your smile. That'll be nice. And this is especially for Edna, Edna Eames. Edna Eames. And then we're going to have uh, for J uh, Jose of uh, St Kilda. Jose likes the Boswell sisters, and so uh, in August 17th, on the August 17th, 1931, they went into the studios in New York with the New Yorkers and recorded Making Faces at the Man in the Moon. But first of all, what about a little saunter? I think we'll do that now. <laughs> Thank you. 
making faces at the man in the moon Cause he hasn't done right by me Feel just like a hermit, not so fucking funny I'm making faces at the man in the moon Cause he hasn't done right by me Everywhere I see a happy two Something for me. Why does Mr. Cupid still remain a mystery? I'm making faces at the man in the moon cause he hasn't done, done right by me. <laughs> That's a pleasant sound, isn't it? The Boswell Sisters. And uh, making faces at the man in the moon. I'm not sure whether it's a full moon tonight. I don't think so. Uh, not tonight. I think about a week ago. A week ago it was. Well, my wife was going a bit crazy, so that's about the it's time. It's a sure sign. A sure sign. A sure sign. Sure I don't sign. know. It brings them out. It does, yeah. All right, it's 29 minutes past uh, eight. Have you got some messages there? Yes, uh, Alex, I have. I've got... Uh, I've got uh, a message from Joyce Caldwell, and Joyce sends his best wishes to us and to John and Roma. And also from Leslie of Ferntree Gully, she's enjoying uh, the music, and best wishes to John and Roma. And from Steve Price. Do you know Steve? I know Steve, yes. Yeah, Steve. Steve's responsible for those wonderful poems. Yes, Steve uh, gave me one of his great cassettes, and I enjoy it very much. It's lovely. Uh, he's enjoying the show, but he hasn't heard his Silver Bells uh, jingle yet. Uh, well, I'm not sure that I've got that in no, my... Uh, I don't I think, Steve. I've probably I got everything else, but, uh, uh, Steve, I'll look after that. I'll make sure that happens. It'll happen next time. It'll happen next time. Right, 8.30. 8.30? It certainly is. <laughs> You're listening to Nostalgia Unlimited with Alex Hare on 3CR Community Radio. Nostalgia Unlimited. It's time to remember radio and TV shows of the past with Themes We Remember. Yes, this is a brand new segment mm. in Nostalgia Unlimited, and we hope that it's going to be, uh, um, well, uh, well liked by our, our listening public. Well, it's in, in our nostalgia format. This is it is. This is the... Uh, material we used to listen to. And we've got two lovely pieces tonight. What are they? The first one we're going to listen to is Coronation Scott and it was uh, written by Vivian Ellis. You know the yes, show Bless yes, the Bride? Uh, indeed. Well, yes. Vivian Ellis wrote this in 1948 and was recorded by Sydney Torch conducting the Queen's Hall Light Orchestra for the Chapel label and it was C275. Right. But more importantly it was used as a theme on BBC Radio and of course out here in Australia for the Paul Temple. And our listeners Seriously. will recognise this immediately. They certainly will. So shall we listen to Coronation Scott? <laughs> The late Sydney Torch conducting the Queen's Hall Light Orchestra through the Vivian Ellis composition, Coronation Scott. And what a very atmospheric piece of music that is, isn't it? It's a lovely piece, that. Yes, it's, it's got the atmosphere. You can see steam trains or anything to that, can't That's you? right. And I, I was, as I was mentioning to you while we were listening to that, uh, Channel 9 used to have the um, model railway on in the early days of TV. That's right. And they'd play this as the accompaniment to that film. And a lot of people would remember that. Mm -hmm. I still remember it when I was just a little one. Yep, I remember it. 
So, there we are, Coronation Scott, and we hope you enjoyed that one. The next piece we have is also from the Chapel Library, and this one's Chapel C269, and it was composed by Clive Richardson. Now, you'll know where this comes from. We won't tell you where it was, no. the theme for, or what it was the theme for, but just have a listen. They'll recognise it. You think they will? Oh, well, yes. we'll see how they go. Yep. <laughs> Hall Light Orchestra. That time, Charles Williams conducting Clive Richardson's wonderful piece of music, which was used as the theme for for the hospital hour. That's right, the hospital that, hour with Gary Ord was on it ABC not? Radio. It mm. was with Gary Ord, and before him, of course, Russ Tyson. That's right. But uh, Gary Ord did it for the years up until it, it finished. Oh, and, many uh, years. Do you remember Gary Ord's voice? Yes, you do. Yes. I wonder if our listeners do. Have a listen. <laughs> Morning all, Gary over the hospital hour. Today, under the auspices of the New South Wales Department of Health, we join our friends at Grosvenor Hospital in the inner western Sydney suburb of Summer Hill. The hospital, uh, which is between uh, Parramatta Road and the railway line, uh, was established in 1965 under the auspices of the, of the New South Wales Department. Join us again Senator next time Michael when once again we relive memories of old radio and TV shows with themes we remember.
20 minutes to nine on Nostalgia Unlimited. Well, there's themes we remember. Yes, and, and indeed it was nice to hear Gary Ord, Ord's voice, wasn't it? It was a nice voice for radio. He did that for many years. He did. He? And uh, what I'd like to say is if anyone uh, would like a particular theme, if they haven't heard something uh, for many years, uh, give us a call and uh, I'd be happy to include it in the program because uh, I think uh, it'll stir up a lot of memories for people. So give Maureen a ring. If there's a theme tune you remember... We'd, we'd be glad to play it for you. What's that number? 419-8377. That's it, and while you're about it, let's send you out an application to become a listener sponsor. That's the idea. Wake up and live. All right. Yep, yeah, but um, not, uh, not Alice Faye this time. Not Alice Faye. No, this time we have it played by Jack Harris and his band, and the vocalist is Mary Jane Walsh. This was recorded in London... Uh, on July, in July 1937, so we could play it tonight for Flash Gordon out there in McLeod. And following that, the second bowlie of the evening, and uh, he's got the right idea because he's by the fireside. Wish we were, Alex. Yes, well, uh, it's bowlie and noble, recorded in January 1932 in London, and played tonight for Jack Tracy of Essendon. Jack, I hope you enjoy this one, but firstly... Wake up and live. <laughs> clouds will break up if you will wake up and live. Oh, wake up and live. Show the stuff you're made of, just follow through. What are you afraid of? You'll try it, won't you? Say, why don't you wake up and live? Come out of your shell. Hey, fella, find your place in the sun. Come out of your shell. Say, fella, just be a go get the son of a gun. Wake up and live. If Lady Luck is yawning up on your toes, a better day is dawning. Don't let up, get up and give. Oh, give yourself a shake up, mister. Wake up and live. Oh, 
in an armchair by the fireside just big enough for two we'll be happy oh so happy why we do as lovers do with no one there to notice a little kiss or two By the fire side with you program it's the first time he's listened and he said it beats watching tv any day ted, ted bear. bear ted bear perhaps he's a relation to leo the well Lord, i'd like to he? say hi to ted bear because i think i might know that gentleman. do you think you know teddy do you i think i might oh uh, well perhaps perhaps uh perhaps you i must have a i must be cultivating an audience out there do you think but you're not going to tell us his name's really ted bear are you no perhaps? no i'm not going to say who it is and kevin petrie out there in glen waverley he's enjoying the uh, show too so we uh, had 12 minutes to nine. We still have time for a couple of requests before yeah, Collector's Corner. We might get three in, actually. Might get three? We might get three, I think. Uh, we'll see how we go. Uh, let's do two at least, and we can come back for a solo, if required. Right. Okay, the first one is In the Chapel in the Moonlight. Jim Davidson, the ABC Dance Orchestra, with John Warren and Alice Smith doing a joint vocal. And this was recorded at EMI's Homebush Studios in 1937. We're playing this one for Arthur Badley. And then Exhibition Swing, played by Victor Sylvester's Ballroom Orchestra. Now, John, I didn't request this. Uh, this no, was requested John. by uh, Gordon of Hampton. And Victor recorded this in London in September 1938. But first of all, Jim Davidson. I love 
love to hear you play. In the chapel in the moonlight Let the love light in your eyes swing. And you know, Alex, as far as we know, that number has never been recorded by any other dance band. Well, I've never seen it. No. Else. And I have a good friend in uh, Liverpool in England who's a Victor Sylvester enthusiast and English dance band enthusiast, and he tells me there has never been another version as far as he knows. Now, Victor recorded it twice. Twice. I haven't. That's on a 
Parlophone 78. It's 1938, I think. That and was. I also have a Columbia 78 1954 version. Oh, ah, right. Slightly different. Just a slight of difference yes. in the arrangement of it. And some of our listeners may remember 3XY used that as a theme for Ty's Radio Review from yes. the Princess Theatre. That's right. On a Sunday night. That's right. So we she know did. all about Exhibition Swings. Exhibition. That was one of my mum's favourite tracks too. She loved that. She Your mum had good taste. Jig around the, the dining room table. It's five and a half minutes to nine. And... Uh... The best things in life are free, so the old song says. Nostalgia Unlimited is one of the best things in life and the presenters freely give of their time and records. If you want to be lucky, like a baby with a silver spoon, just turn your money in your pocket. Sadly, however, it costs money to keep Nostalgia Unlimited operating, so phone 419 8377 and we will send you an application form to become a listener sponsor. The rates are very reasonable and you will easily recoup these with your subscription with discounts offered at selected stores, cinemas, record shops, bookshops and many other services. If you want to be lucky and have a lucky break come soon Just turn your money in your pocket You made a million dreams come true And so I'm saying Thanks a million to you. That number again, 419-8377. And thanks a million. Thank you, Liz. That's, That's very good uh, of you uh, to uh, bring those good words up. You, you didn't know I could mime like that, did you? Uh, well, you didn't move your mouth once. No. But I did that because I know you like Victor Sylvester, so I thought the backing track is, is, is Sylvester, so we'll That's have a right. little promo. Good one. We've got time for one more track before Collector's Corner. Would you like to announce? Yes, I'd program? love to tell you it's Count Your Blessings, and it's to be sung by Joseph Locke, accompanied by the Malacrino Orchestra, under the direction of Eric Robinson, and we're playing this for Devo. So here it comes. <laughs> Blessings one by one When dawn appears And the day has just begun They will light your heart With happiness Make each hour bright and brief Blessings one by one When twilight falls And toil of day is done And in sweet dreams They'll come again to you If you will count your blessings Your blessings 
That was very pleasant, Joseph Locke and count your blessings. And the time is now nine o'clock. You're in tune with 3CR Community Radio. It's nine o'clock. It is now time for Collector's Corner, presented this evening by Alex Hare. In 1993, Rodgers and Hammerstein and the Musical Theatre celebrate their 50th anniversary. In this program, we look at their life and times and their words and music in Rodgers and Hammerstein, a celebration. <laughs> Rodgers and Hammerstein, the words that conjure up an era where any musical with those names attached automatically became the most eagerly anticipated event of the theatrical season. From Oklahoma to The Sound of Music, their shows bore the unmistakable Rodgers and Hammerstein stamp. The stories were filled with warm human characters and the scores were studded with memorable songs. <laughs> 